Welcome back everyone, another video on the Black Pearl, picking up where I left off on the previous video. I am drilling the holes for the, the stern lanterns. I hope you all enjoyed the video, leave a like, leave a comment, please do consider subscribing to help the channel. Now I'm using a bigger drill just to create a horizontal surface for the lanterns to sit on. This is not to drill completely, it's just to create a circle that is horizontal and doesn't have the, the slope of this turn piece. I'm going to paint this piece before applying the, the, the lanterns because with the lanterns it would be too hard to, too hard to paint so I'm going to get it ready like I've done on the rest of the whole of the ship I'm starting by staining with a dark color Now a coat of plasticator. The plasticator has dried and now apply a coat of paint. This is as I've used it on the rest of the ship, German grey. Now a coat of chipping fluid. A coat of rain marks from AK. Using a brush and water, I do the chipping effects on the layer of the AK rain effects. 
and that's it the piece is done now for the the lanterns these models i purchased uh, and 3d printed them i cannot provide the models because obviously they are purchased and who sells them needs to make money i am airbrushing uh, a black primer Now, to make the, the effect on the outside of the, of the lanterns, I, I've used this before, I believe most of you have seen it. This is from Amo, the, the brand is Amo by Mick Jimenez, and this is the copper patina uh, from the U-Rust set. I use the, the paint to, to paint the the outside of the, the lanterns this is this is a it has texture and it's a bit thick it's not exactly exactly like a normal paint but it's applied more by stippling than brushing Once the paint has dried, the two liquids that come on the set of the U-Rust on the U-Rust set, uh, they are oxidizers. They are going to oxidize the elements on the paint. They produce different results. So I use one drop of each, and I apply randomly uh, on different spots to create the, the oxidation. It takes a, it takes a few minutes. You leave it. Uh, if it's not enough, you apply more of the liquids if <clears throat> and until you get uh, the result that you are looking for. This is the final result after a long time has passed, no more oxidation is going on. Now to prepare the LEDs, I solder the, the wires to, to the LEDs like I've done for all the other ones. I've showed this in previous videos already. With the LED wires, it is placed inside the clear part of the lantern. This is part of the model that that I bought, and it's 3D printed in transparent 3D resin. the The model was modified to have to be able to pass the the wires through it, and the transparent part is also modified to be able to fit the LED inside.
a quick test to see if all the LEDs are working properly and if there's no problems. Now I'm using a bit of filler to cover the three holes that were there on that piece. This was done very at the start of the ship and I was considering these holes to pass wires through, but then I changed the routing of the, the wire. So this ended up being not needed and this part will be seen inside on the captain's quarters. So this needed to be filled and covered. Now to put the, the lanterns on their place and to run the wires. I, at this point, decided to glue the lanterns, knowing that while working on the ship, I was going to eat them and unglue them. Uh, at this point, I even had planned to count how many times I would unglue them, but at some point, Later, I decided to stop gluing them and stop counting how many times I unglue them. But for now, I leave them with a bit of glue on their place. This is how it looks at the moment. On the next video, I'm going to start tackling all these wires and continue the project. I hope you all have enjoyed. Leave a like, leave a comment. Please do consider subscribing and I hope to catch you all in the next one.